What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I am the Guitars562 and I do video game guides and walkthroughs and in today's video I want to talk about essentially building your Ranger the right way. Now, as you all already know, to be a Crescent Moon Ranger you need to have a certain amount of crit rate. Uh, for that to happen you need to have the right accessories. Now I will tell you right now the build setup you want to go for is the Fierce Hawk Necklace and the Crude Tide Ring. However, sometimes you don't have the right runes. Um, the reason I say uh, runes are kind of a big deal is because um, you want to build your pieces to have the right runes. If you didn't already know, this is kind of old stuff, but you want to build for stuff like this. For example, the Fierce Hawk Necklace, you're going to need your yellows, reds, and purples. And the reason this is kind of important is because the reds, you're going to need high on the necklace, uh, low on the purples. Um, but when you go to the Crude Tide Ring, you're gonna need uh, more purples and then you know less red. So you're gonna have to kind of find like a sweet spot so they can kind of meet themselves in the middle. And the reason why I say the crew tide ring instead of the fierce hawk ring is uh, because of the fact that you get triple stats on everything. For example, on the fierce hawk necklace, you can double stack AP. For example, you can have AP and crit damage. Um, I know you see attack speed right there, but like you can see, uh, you know, there's AP at the bottom, but the bottom can also be uh, crit damage. Okay. Um, and then the, you can get triple stats on the ring as well. Now, if you look at the Crew Tide Necklace, however, which is the one I'm using at the current moment, which is kind of garbage, uh, I do need to make a change eventually, you cannot get triple substats. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see the necklace, but so we're going to use the Ancient Variant. Um, the third substat is actually going to be HP. Uh, the top is going to be the extra damage, and the middle stat is going to be crit damage. Uh, whereas on the ring, you can get... Uh, the crit damage of like 30%, 35% on the red version. Um, and you can also get the yellows for the damage, and you can also get AP on the bottom. But you saw that Crude Tide necklace. Now let's go ahead and look at the Fierce Hawk Ring. Now with the Fierce Hawk Ring, you don't get triple substats, you only get the HP. And as you can see, you can actually get what I have. Um, which is something really good, which is actually uh, crit damage, so it kind of negates what you are losing and giving you um, nothing but the crit rate. But look right here, you get the AP, and uh, as you can see, like the, the where it says the 12s, that can actually be like crit damage, and I'm going to show you right now what I mean by that. So the neck, you know, you want the Fierce Hawk Necklace and the Crew Tide Ring. Now what I have is the opposite of that, so the reason I'm doing this is because I already had the runes you know, sorted for this class without having to spend too much. Uh, I have a 19% on the top stat, Dookie de uh, subset on the third, and I have crit rate. However, eventually I'm going to switch over to the Fierce Hawk Necklace, an ancient one, which is what I want to do, and have the crew tied ring. Um, see, but the Fierce Hawk ring I have here, this is like a rare occurrence. Um, you have the crit rate, and as you can see, it says minus 35% on the Fierce Hawk. But because I have increased, uh, cr increased critical hit damage 35%, it kind of balances out. So I have nothing but the crit rate as gains. Now, this is a low substat on the crit rate. So you're going to want to want like at least 17 or 18 if it's a red accessory. And then have like a 30% to be, you know, okay. And then you can kind of get the gains on that. So this is the stats that I have on my current range right now. But as you can see, I'm missing a lot because I should be getting a lot of the AP from if I had Ron rock the Fierce Hawk necklace um, versus, you know, rocking, you know, the Crude Tide necklace. And I'm also missing about 35% crit damage because of the fact that I'm not rocking the substats on the Crude Tide necklace the right way. So I would be at like 425 or whatever, and then plus the Beef Curry, I'd be like at 450, and then also the Crude Tide ring. So this is another thing. See, I have the Crude Tide ring right here. It could be a multiple of debuffs. It could be critical hit rate, critical hit damage, or it can be AP. So really think about what you want to do for your Ranger. Personally for me, uh, when you have the right stuff, let's go from top to bottom. Um, you want to have a double AP bow, double crit damage of at least 60% or higher, or a 6.9 because as you can see my crit rate is only 42% and realistically you need to have uh, a high enough crit rate for CM to function. If you do not, it's just not going to work. I've already tried the Awoken Necklace with the Crew Tide build with the Ranger and yes, it does hit hard. However, you're just missing too much crit rate for it to be viable. In my humble opinion, remember, I am just a YouTuber. Take, you know, whatever I say with, you know, your own 
you know ounce of skepticism tested this out yourself but good luck because this cost a lot of star seeds to test this out now for the quiver you're going to want to have a double crit damage quiver uh you know 60 percent or higher um, i have a 67 right here uh you want a double crit damage helmet um, that's what you want to use uh, there's multiple of chess pieces that you can use uh, what I'm using right now is this AP chess piece I unbound my double AP chess piece that's what you're gonna want to go for so you want to have like a 2000 AP chess piece that way you can actually um, proc more damage and now for the pants it is uh, irrefutable you cannot argue it needs to be double crit rate for the CM build remember this build is specifically for Crescent Moon um, if you have the AP legs like the Voss Elon, that's just not going to work. You're missing out. Like, like I'm at 42. If I lose those legs, boom, it's going to drop down to 32. And if I'm at 32, and then I'll drop down another 7% because I, I want to use a double AP um, bow. So that'll be 32 minus 7. So now I'll be dropping down to 25% crit rate. And as you can see, that is just too big. Um, and for the you know boots, you're going to want a balance of AP and crit rate. I know you may want to stack double AP, but realistically, again, unless you have pants that are like max roll 20%, you need to find a sweet spot with the way this game's RNG is. So, um, with this, this is a perfect way for you to get your crits. Now, you may say, oh, well, I can eat tiger shrimp, and now you're missing damage because you can actually be eating beef curry instead. You're going to want double AP gloves. Um, you don't you, you know yeah you can probably have AP and defense pan but realistically you're gonna want 2k AP gloves minimum I think this is like 19 uh, you know I can't do the math off the top of my head but it's pretty much up there it's like around 1900 AP right there uh, shoulders you want double crit damage shoulders um, this is I believe let's see 30 plus 37 plus 10 is 47 47 plus 5 this is at 52s I have a couple of double crit damage shoulders um but yeah, you're gonna want these uh, for your shoulders. You do not want to use the AP shoulders. You only want to use the double crit damage. And again, if you don't have double crit damage, you're just gonna want to use the AP shoulders or crit damage shoulders. Uh, belt, of course, is the belt of concentrated opportunity. This works in both PC and the console versions of Bless Unleashed. So this is what's gonna maximize your damage for your ranger. Um, again, I'm using the Crew Tide necklace uh, and I'm using the Fierce Hawk ring. However, realistically, you're going to want to go for the Fierce Hawk necklace with the Crew Tide ring. And I would lean for like a uh, really high on the purple stats. So, like, look for, uh, for example, like, I don't even have a Fierce Hawk necklace, but like, let's say if you have a Fierce Hawk necklace, you don't want to have like a 16% crit rate like uh, 660 AP and like 18% crit damage on the top stat and then the crew tide ring is going to be 19% or 18% or higher 35% uh, crit damage to kind of like negate the damage that you're losing from the fierce hawk necklace and uh, 364 AP at the bottom so that's the best possible outcome for crescent moon um, that way you can go ahead and just kind of beam and I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay with crescent moon to, to kind of show you guys what it kind of looks like when you're critting and when you're not critting. Let's see. Here we go. And look at that, see? If you guys didn't already know, you can actually reset your lighting arrows by doing that. The skills that you're going to want to use for this blessing uh, we'll talk about that in another video, actually, because, I mean, I, I'm using the skills right now, but, like, there's, like, different rotations that you can use and however you want. I'm going to get to, like, the 50 stacks so you can kind of see. This is unbuffed, no Panacea Blaze, no Elixir of Thorns, no nonsense. You know, this can't hit for a lot. Um, my Tempest Volley went with Lionheart Ranger and AP Seder buff. I'm hitting for like 1.8, 1.9, close to 2 mil on the crits on the Tempest Volley. So here you go. But that's what's fully buffed up with everything. So Mark DD. No buffs. I was hitting like, what, 8.8, 890k? And these crits are like, what, 409,000? No. I don't know if that was correct. Let's see, what's the number say? 368, 120. That's the number without buffs. 
and that's not bad. So now, again, if you take off any of these items, you're just not going to crit enough. Yes, you're going to have more damage, but is it really worth it if you're never going to crit? Because if you're not critting, then you basically have non-existent damage. But that's pretty much the build that you want to go for if, if you want to hit. Um, with the Panacea of Blades, Elixir of Thorns, and Beef Curry, I can definitely vouch if you have gear similar to mine. Your lightning arrows are going to be hitting for 750, 850Ks. Uh, your Tempest Volley, fully charged up with the 100 stacks, is going to hit for around 1.6 to 1.9 million per tick. And I think it ticks, I don't know, how many times does it tick? I, I'll have to slow down and count that, but that's pretty much it. This is the build that you want to go for for the Ranger. Please do so if you're a CM Ranger. Again, this is specifically if you are a Crescent Moon Ranger. There's different builds for Lion and Wolf. Honestly, Lion and CM, I use the same exact thing, similar, but accessories are different. But we'll talk about that in a different video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow the socials, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram at the Guitars 562 TikTok at the Guitars 562 as well. Um, and take it easy, guys. I hope you guys stay blessed.